This is my eighth feature film having designed for Paul Thomas Anderson. The film is a dream for me to be able to create all these garments from scratch. The initial research was following what Paul had been reading, what Paul had been looking at, and then really looking at the script myself and seeing how we could use what had inspired Paul and turn it into storytelling with clothes. My brother is adored by the women who wear our design. It's very interesting to think about designing in the hand of someone else. How flirty does it get? How stodgy is it? How uh, risque? As far as choosing the colors for the House of Woodcock, we sat one day with Paul and thought about what exactly is the House of Woodcock. And I think deep, rich colors, a lot of lace used, juxtaposing textures. So as that signature was developed, then the choices kind of followed within those parameters. For a long time, we avoided things like uh, strapless dresses, which were huge in the 50s. But at some meeting or at some point, I'd heard from Daniel that Reynolds would have thought that that was vulgar. So you're constantly assessing, you know, is this something that would be within Reynolds' taste? I'm most proud of the fact that they all kind of work in the scenes themselves and tell the story. And I think that's the subtle thing that always is like a challenge and making sure that it doesn't overshadow the scene, but works within that. 